Well, good morning, friends. It's Tracy and Violet and Boris are over there eating their breakfast from Nova Scotia Living. It's 8 o'clock in the morning. It's Saturday morning. No, it's Sunday morning. Sunday morning. Um, and I got up oh, a little while ago. I'm heating up a Tim Hortons coffee in the microwave. <coughs> I had kind of a rough night last night. Maze is supposed to have a hockey game today, but he was up half the night, and I mean half the night, with a toothache. Yeah, I gave him some ibuprofen, put him back to bed, and he just, he couldn't settle, he couldn't settle. It's, he's in excruciating pain, and I feel terrible. Um, I, he's downstairs now. He ended up crawling in bed with us, like we told him to come in bed with us. And when I got up, he must have got up when I took the dogs out for a walk. Like, I don't know how well he was sleeping, so I'm hoping he passes out sometime today to get some sleep. I messaged the hockey group to say he's not going to be able to make it today. Uh, the pharmacies aren't open today and the dentist isn't open today. So I'm going to plow him with ibuprofen and Tylenol. I mean, responsibly. For pain. And I'm driving there first thing in the morning. I don't have an appointment or anything. I'm going to be there when the lady goes to open the door. Please help us. Please. I'm a mother in need. I am though, but... Um... It's probably infected. Something's probably infected. He has had this before. He's had his tooth fixed or something. I forget now. I think it was him. And Boris, stop it. Um, yeah. I don't know if the outpatients is open, like the the hospital here in town. Last weekend it wasn't open. I don't think it's open. You'd have to drive over an hour away to get to a hospital. And even then people wait 14 to 16 hours to be seen like it's it's the medical situation in Nova Scotia is absolutely horrendous so our best the best we can do even if I could get a hold of the dentist at home because I think the last time he dealt with this with I think it was Maze I think maybe it was Mally I don't know one of them they're like, oh my goodness, you should have called us at home. I'm thinking, oh, I'm not going to call you at home. But even if I could call them at home, um, the pharmacies are closed today. Like, they're closed. So, I don't know. I don't know what to do. But, anyways, I'm going to have my coffee. I'm sure he doesn't want anything to eat right now. But I, he just had his dose of Tylenol like right before I picked you guys up so he'll have another one in four hours he had ibuprofen around four o'clock so um I'll give him some around 10 o'clock I give that every six hours and I hope that we can get through this day my goodness yeah I was gonna say I have an antibiotic on file for eczema and stuff but it can be used for different things I'm just like I wonder if that can be used for teeth I don't know I would look it up I hate that I have medicine for just well not just about everything for a lot of things earaches sore eyes asthma eczema fevers constipation you know like hemorrhoids I have medicine for a lot of stuff but teeth if I have anything, it's like the little gel that you put on your teeth, like almost like aura gel or, uh, well, yeah, aura gel, I guess. I don't even know if I have any of that. And if I have it, is that going to work for him? I don't know. I'm assuming it's an infection, like in his gum, not specifically the tooth. I don't know, but that just was right out of the blue because he was fine yesterday. Just, I don't know. 2, 2.30 this morning, he woke up crying with a toothache, so I don't know. I don't know. But anyways, I'm going to have my coffee. I'll be back in a little bit. And i got to see, I just noticed this coming out with my coffee. Here's Rosie and Ginger and Finnegan. To Santa, it says. Finnegan's wrapped up. See his feet? By the beautiful, blasted gingerbread house. Well, what are you folks up to today, huh? Yeah. Ooh, I'm 
right, guys. Mally just got up. Let me show you what she ended up making last night. I was to bed when she did this, but she made cinnamon buns, cinnamon buns, and they look amazing. What kind of frosting? Is that, uh, cream cheese frosting? Yeah. Yeah. The frosting we put in your... Oh. Yes. Boris, get going. But warm it up in the microwave a little bit, and they get nice, soft, and chewy. I'm getting some bedding done now. All right, it's 9.44. I just got that wash going. The dishwasher's going. Maze is asleep on the couch, thank the Lord above. Oh, jeez. I hate this. I hate feeling powerless. I really do. This is the worst. Um, I wish I could take that pain away. But, you know, an awful toothache is an awful friggin' toothache, and you can't do nothing about it. Uh, yeah. It just, it sprung up on us like nothing. Like, he was fine, just out of the blue, 2 o'clock last night. He's in terrible pain, and I'm just like, what's a mother to do? Dire straits, I'm telling you, Boris. Anyways, he's asleep. He's been medicated. Well, I mean, Tylenol and ibuprofen. Wash is going. Dishwasher's going. Misha is up. She had a shower. I'm about to put her hair in a braid. She wants me to braid it. Um... And she got up, she was like, when are we supposed to go to the hockey game? He like, She likes going. I'm like, we're not going to go, honey. Not going to go. But anyways, I'll be back in a bit. I'll go do that. Um, I told Mazai to bring down any dirty stuff that she has. And I'll wash it today, like clothes and stuff, because it's the beginning of a new week tomorrow. So we'll see. All right. These guys are up to no good. Boris, are you up to no good? I like your power puff. Anyways, we're going to watch Home Alone. Misha's going to wrap a few presents. Um, I had to put a couple of cat toys up on the dining room table because Boris finds them very interesting. One's for Medea's cat and one's for Marquise's cat, Dink and Lonnie. And, yeah, but they're not not—they're not for you. I'm sorry. They're not. So she's going to wrap a couple of things. Then after she'll wrap those. But we're going to watch Home Alone play in my little buddy here. I hope he sleeps till tomorrow morning, honestly. I know that's not going to happen, but it certainly would be nice for him. He'll sleep until bedtime. And then yeah, but he needs sleep. All right, home alone. First time this season. Uh, Boris wants to help. Violet. <laughs> he wants to be all up in that. All right, Misha wrapped all the stuff. We're good. They will go in those boxes over there. And I'm just rotating the laundry. I have two towels. I just put Mazaya's clothes in. I'm going to get that going. And yeah, we're getting things done. We're still watching Home Alone, though. All right. Maze is still sleeping. Got that wash going. Presents are all wrapped. They're in the boxes. I'm going to have to like organize the boxes so that everything fits. We just pause this video because Misha's out there making hot chocolate. So Violet's here. So yeah, anyways, um, we're having a good morning. I don't know what time it is. Oh, it's only 1036. So we're good. We're good. So Mazaya's stuff, bedding and clothes will be all washed this morning. Um, I'll check with Mally. I'm sure she has some dirty clothes. We'll get it all washed. Everybody will have sh baths and showers. I don't know about Maze today, depending on how he feels, but he will not be going to school tomorrow until that subsides a bit, like the pain level. He said it was the worst pain he's ever felt. I'm like, oh my God, it breaks my heart, it breaks my heart. But yeah, anyways, yeah, having a good time. Good Sunday. Okay, load three. This was Mally stuff. She'll have another one after this, and then she'll be caught up. All right, we're on Home Alone two. And Maze just woke up. Had a bit more meds. To toy Duncan's toy chest. Eh? You having fun yet? Whew. All right, guys. Misha and I are running down to the little store that's just here in our village. Mally wants to make tacos, so I'll see if they have a taco kit or something there. I'm going to run up the street, too, to get check the mailbox. But Oh, that hockey bag. <laughs> All right, Misha is checking the little mailbox thing. It's chilly out. It's ch colder than 
yesterday for sure. We don't have a fire going. I want to clear out the stove and maybe when I'm down to the store buy a box of kindling because I'm not making none. Oh, she's back. We made it down. Whew. I only have my slippers on. <laughs> Wore my slippers. <laughs> I'm so cool. I'm that cool that I can get away with it. Just joshing with you. All right, I'm doing Mally's second load, and she's all caught up. Then I got another load to do of my husband's clothes. Ooh, and I'm hanging up one towel. Mally's here making tacos. I went down to the store. I did get a box right there of kindling and got the fire going. I cleaned out the ash and just built it with kindling and stuff. Um, I got a soft taco kit down there. She's whipping that up now. That'll be for supper. It's a little early, but at least the meat stuff will be done. And I have one towel to hang up for now. So, yeah, Maze is having some Jello. Um, the Jello Mally made isn't ready yet, but I had those little snack pack Jellos. That's what he's having. And yeah, I'll hang this up now. All right, guys, Mally's still making that. She's cutting up some green peppers and she cut up some tomato and some cucumber. I don't know. I wouldn't give it to her. Anyways, we checked mail and I had ordered a DVD. Have any of you ever seen this movie? It's like a 90s vampire movie. Oh, I know Mafia. that movie. How do you, I was going to say, how do you know that movie? I bought it used. It has some big actors in it, but... Uh, yeah. Anyways, yeah, Innocent Blood. She's a vampire. But, anyways, just, just sharing. All right, Manly's here making some mocktails. Ooh, doesn't look good. Mocktails are alcohol-looking drinks without alcohol in them. This does have alcohol in it. It certainly does not. It certainly does. No. Oh. Andrew, good sir, is trying some chicken noodle soup. Our delicacy. All right. There's a taco meat Mally made. Um, and here's the little wraps. We don't have any lettuce, but she cut up some cucumber, some green pepper, and some tomatoes. And then this is the taco sauce that came with it. So we're just going to wing it. And I do have some of that smoky cheese left. So if anybody wants that, we'll put it on the tacos. All right. This one's Misha. She does have a little bit of that smoky cheese at the bottom, just a little bit. But she has a little bit of the veggies and meat and taco sauce. All right, this one's Zaya. It's pretty much the same thing, only the cheese is on the top instead of the bottom. Misha helped me fold up some laundry. There's still some stuff in the dryer, and I have one more load to do after Zaya has her shower and Manly has hers. I'm going to wash those towels. Um, but that big hamper there is Manly's. Zaya has that bedding and another big pile. So she's in the shower now, I think. She's supposed to be. And then she'll come down and get her stuff, and etc., etc. I don't know what time it is. Probably 7 o'clock or something. It's just been one of those kind of days. May seems to be feeling better, but he's still not eating solids. 7-Eleven. Um, he had some jello. He had some soup, chicken noodle soup, and he had some noodles. So, something. Oh, Zai, after your shower, bring down your towel, and I got clean clothes here for you. So, anyways, I'll be back in a bit. Well, good morning, friends. It's the next day. I think I am going to do a squisher. I don't think I filmed very much yesterday, so we're going to film today. Uh, I hit snooze till, oh, I don't know how long, like a half hour, maybe five minutes. I did not want to get up this morning, but I'm up. 
I got my coffee ready, took the pop soap for the little morning jaunt. I turned the furnace on when I got up because it was cold downstairs, but then after I came out with my coffee, I turned it back down because it was getting hot in here. But tomorrow, uh, today it is supposed to be, I think, the minus three, high of five. So it'll be cool enough to make sure we keep the fire going. Um, but Maze had a good night last night. He got up around five and asked if he could have some medicine, so I gave him some medicine. And then I was supposed to get up a half hour after that, but I didn't. Um... I'm going to bring him into the dentist this morning. The office opens at 8. Hopefully they can get him in right away. I mean, it's just to look at it to see if he needs an uh, antibiotic. That's it. Maybe an x-ray. I don't know. But if it's a bad infection, you should be able to see it, I would think. I don't know. I haven't tried to look. but I'm going to call the office now, even though I know they're not open, just to give him a heads up. And we'll see. But... um. Yeah, I don't know if the girls will want to come in when I do. Like, I'm going to be there for 8.30. It's like a seven-minute walk to the high school. Like, it's really five, seven minutes. They can come in with me. I'm not driving them to school. I'm going to be there for 8.30 because whatever. But my husband's still going to be here, so I'm going to leave Violet and Boris home, which is good. And we're just going to try to try to get his tooth looked at because I hate misery. I hate when people are in misery like that. And... Uh, you know, mm. and especially when they're so little and he's smart enough to understand what's going on. But, you know, uh, you it just it's it's just not good. All right, guys, I just had my delicious coffee and it wasn't big enough, but I went up and woke up Misha. Maze is back to sleep, thank goodness, because I didn't know if he was going to go back to sleep after I gave him his medicine at five. But he's up there snoozing, so. I'm going to leave him until Misha's off on the bus. And I just called the dentist office and left a message there, just giving them the the gist of what's going down. And, yeah, I'll wake the big kids up when Misha goes on the bus, give them the option of coming in town with me, and then they can walk to school. Or just get your arse up and catch the bus. Just don't miss the bus kind of thing. And I'm going to wake my husband up. He's going to get up. He has work and stuff to do. I just said, I'll wake you up when I wake big kids up. And yeah, yeah, I'm really hoping he can just slip in there, <sighs> in and out. And yeah, that would be wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Oh, for goodness sakes. All right, guys, Misha just left on the bus. The other family was out there, so I didn't want to film, but I got Violet and Boris. I'm going to go wake up the rest of the crew. Hey, early morning load of laundry. Hey guys, I got Maze with me. Mally and Mazaya are in the truck. They, I said they can come in after they have their Tim Hortons and then they can walk to school or hopefully we're in and out before and I can drive them. We'll see. Oh, we're in. I have the TV here and they have a Christmas tree behind us, but somebody's sitting beside it. But they're going to squeeze us in. Thank the Lord above. Huh, Maze? <laughs> hey, Maze is in getting an x-ray the kids are still over there see the Christmas tree? it looks so nice so we're just I'm waiting waiting alright Maze they're going to yank out all your teeth <laughs> they got a TV up here and stuff so and there's the x-ray of his teeth all right, we got in, we got a prescription. We just dropped it off to Sobeys and we said, we'll be back. We're going to the dollar store. All right, well, actually we're gonna go to Shoppers first, Mace. Shoppers Drug Mart to see if they have that bath oil here. If not, we'll have to stop to Walmart. We're done at the dollar store. We'll go see if our prescription's ready. Then we'll go to Walmart. Shoppers did not have that bath oil that I was hoping for, but Walmart should do. You still got some cream on your nose, hon. He's getting in the tub as soon as we get home. And, yeah. Come on, buddy. We've been about 20 minutes. It should be ready. I'm hoping. We're not leaving until we get it in our paws, though, are we, Mace? Heck no. All right, guys. Um, they don't have it quite ready because they needed to know how much he weighed. 54, 55 pounds. He's just a little squirt. He's small but deadly. 
But anyway, so now they're mixing it up and yeah, we just got these chairs we're gonna sit in till it's time. All right, we got Maze's drugs. Look, there's a Delma uh, Delmation. Maze, you got me twisted. It's a Doberman Pinscher in there. He's so beautiful, so beautiful. Well, it is drugs. It's it's a prescription, okay, a prescription. So we got that it's a moxicillin, I think, three times a day. I also got, I have a little bit of that left at home, but it's limited. You gotta ask for it about, like behind the counter. You can only get one. They imported it from the States. Uh, so it doesn't have the French labeling, which is bizarre. She was like, it's the same stuff. It's just it's imported from the States. So you, like any package here in Canada has French and English. This is just all English. So she had to give me this that has the French on it to go along with it. But anyways, I got some. Um, so I'll just put it in my medicine cabinet uh, in hopes... Well, I hope my kids don't get sick, but just in case this winter they do, I have some fresh Tylenol. All right, we're at the Big W. This is the only place in town I can seem to find that Aveeno bath oil. But, yeah, I wonder if these guys have Tylenol. All right, guys, this place is bumping with heat, let me tell you. I had to take the kettles off the wood stove. They were both, pot like, steaming. Maze is just having some bacon. He's doing a little crossword. You should take your winter jacket off, but I'll show you what I got at Walmart. Very exciting. I did get that bath oil. It's in one of the Dollarama bags. That's what I went for. I did get a thing of Tylenol there, too. It was cheaper there than Sobeys. It was nine-something, whereas at Sobeys, I think it was 13-something. And I don't know if this is... This must be from the States, too. There is a shortage here. Like, when I had the kids sick, Misha and Maze, both real sick... Thank God I had a little bit left here because there was none in town. And all the hospitals were closed. And the hospitals you'd get to, you'd have to drive to over an hour and wait 14 to 16 hours. Um, and it would be for a simple fever. Like, it's scary, scary times. But now I got a couple boxes on reserve. But Walmart had these advent calendars marked down 50% off, I believe. I don't know where the receipt is. This one was still pricey. This was $9.99, like with the reduction so it must have been like 20 bucks but i'm gonna give this one to mally it has some nuts and stuff in it and she loves lindor i love them too but i got mazaya one this has nuts in it too uh, both both of them both of them can eat nuts um and i forget i forget this might have been uh nine dollars too i'm not sure so or maybe eight dollars i don't if i can find the receipt i'll let you know and then i got Misha and Maze eats a Kinder Surprise one, Advent Calendar. These were $5.99, like marked down to $5.99. At the end, they do get one Kinder Egg. Uh, but yeah, so they got to catch up. Today is December 5th, so they'll have to eat the first five, but that's okay. That's all right. And the fancy ones, the fancy, fancy ones. So I'm going to get them out of this kitchen before the chocolate melts. Let me tell you, it's that kind of hot, but I just wanted to show you. Oh, I also got this at Walmart, too. Maze requested some Welch's fruit snacks. He really likes those. I got two boxes of these. I think one must still be out in the truck. They were two for five fifty. dollars um, I don't know if... I don't know about that thing. But um, he said he likes Twinkies, so that. And they had sensitive skin Dove. This is the kind that I use. I don't use any other kind. It has to be sensitive skin. Um, and it was marked down to six eighty eight, where it's usually over $13. Um, so I got four, to, four of them. They had a bunch, they had a whole bunch more, but I only got four of them, which will last me a little while. I'm very excited about that purchase. All right, I'll show you what I got at the dollar store. All right, I'll show you what I got at the dollar store. So I got some Tostito rounds and some salsa. I can put some in their lunches this week. I got some plain bagels because I got spreadable cream cheese in the fridge. I got some Christmas boxes. I don't do this every year, but I got... The big kids a lot of clothes this year, like new clothes, and they just come in little plastic envelopes. And I just thought it would be nice to put them in a pretty box. Um, so I got big sizes, little sizes. The This has three in it. The big boxes have two in it. This has three in it. I don't, they shouldn't. Um, this has three in it. These were $1.50. These medium size were $3, and the two big ones were $2. So... Yeah, that's fine. It's like the white in a Kinder Egg. He's getting his five. So I got those. Um, 
I told Maze he could pick out something. He got this. Like, they move around and squish and stuff. I got some more little gloves. These are thicker. These are thicker. These are not very thick, but... Um, I got this cute little Christmas tree soap dispenser. Some strawberry jello, some raspberry jello. I got a coconut milk to replace the one I used the other day in my curry. I got some vanilla icing to put in my cupboard because Mally wanted some the other day and we didn't have any. I got th four things of pedigree dog food. I got, I know I got trays, but I wanted to put the Christmas gingerbread house on a tray and I'll put it on one of these. I just think it's, I think they're just fabulous, just fabulous. So I also got the Quaker assorted um, oatmeal. Maple and brown sugar, cinnamon, spice, apples, and cinnamon. Got two things of Rice Krispie squares, two things of Oreo minis for lunches, four things of chocolate chip uh, granola bars, and then there's that oil I got from Walmart. So that's everything I got that I can show you. I did get a few things that I can't show you, but yeah. Anyways, I'm going to put this stuff away. We just realized some of the Kinder stuff has hazelnuts in it. These little ones, those little green ones. May started eating one of those, and these like these have bumps in it. And I just didn't, I honestly didn't think, because Kinder eggs don't generally, you know, have it in. So, but he did. He gave it. Oh, I'll show you the elves this morning. Rosie made her own little gingerbread house. And just FYI, this is actual gingerbread. This isn't, but this is. That's what she was busy doing. And then these guys are over here trying to fish. Finnegan and Rosie, or Ginger, Ginger. Um, there's little Swedish fish, that candy down in there, but they got their fishing rods. They're trying to catch a Swedish fish. All right, guys, we have been busy. Maze is testing out his new hockey stick he got. You can see he's feeling much better. Maze had a bath. He's all creamed up. All hunky-dory. Boris is having a kink. But that stick has some power, doesn't it? Yeah, you got to be easy with it. Where's your net? A.K.A. the laundry basket. <laughs> Ooh, I just put cream on my face. I just had a shower, too. So, um, yeah, I'm going to go put some more wood in the fire. Feels good. Oh, and I edited this video up until now because it's a squisher. I unloaded the phone while I was in the shower and I sat down and edited it and it's 106. So, yeah, I'm getting a little peckish actually. Whew, all right, guys, it's 152. I was busy on the phone. Um, I rotated laundry. I have some towels to hang up. I got the dishwasher going. And yeah, Misha will be home soon. I'll go outside with the pups. Oh, and I togged up the fire too. So that's locked. Um, yeah, Maze is just relaxing, having a good day at home, I guess. All right, guys, I'm outside with the dogs. Maze is still in the house, but one of Marquise's Christmas presents was supposed to be delivered today. I just checked my Amazon package, and it's a big thing. Um, they tried to deliver it, but they couldn't drop it off. I have it set to dr drop it off at the reception office, like the receiving place of their building, but I guess nobody was there, apparently. So I called UPS, like, can I get it re-delivered? Oh, no, you can't really do that. After two days, if they don't come pick it up, we'll try to re-deliver it. So I just messaged Kara and told her, but Marquise is going to have to be the one to pick it up and show ID, and it's just a pain in the, pain in the backside. But, yeah. Anyways. Oh, yeah, that's what's going down, but at least it's in the neighborhood. Where the pickup, it's only like five minutes away according to Google Maps, but still, it's just a pain in the butt. Oh, this is coming a bit of a ritual. Fill up the wheelbarrow. All right, you guys are all twisted. Oh, I'm outside. I'm just, I have this, this was Marquise's actually, so... Message Kara, she might be working, I'm not sure, but, yeah, yeah, hopefully they can get that picked up, I just, I like things to be sorted, and then something on my Amazon saying it's delivered and it's not delivered, maybe they're on their way, I don't know.
Oh, speaking of which, look, that van's backing out of the driveway right now. I just brought the packages in the house. Well, that's good. I'll open those later tonight when the kids go to bed. Tomorrow I plan on having a Operation Christmas wrap session. I want to wrap as many presents as I possibly can. Um, I want to get up early, try to get something ready for supper early. And uh, wrap presents. I want to not have to wrap presents like the whole last week before Christmas. I want everything all done. And that's my plan. I would have done that today if I hadn't had a whole dentist mishap and sore tooth and baby home and all that stuff. But according to my splurge this, well, Black Friday and Cyber Monday online shopping, almost all of my stuff has been delivered so far. There's still a few outstanding things. And I ordered something from overseas. And it's through Canada Post. It'll be here Friday, I think. Whatever the 9th is. Oh, here's the bus. Finally. It's a little late this 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 afternoon. Oh! <laughs> that must not be their regular bus driver. <laughs> they were about to drive right on by. I'm thinking, don't take my babies. Well, Misha, anyways. Yeah, you should see her outfit. It was candy cane theme day. Violet, you're pulling Boris. Usually it's the other way around. Come on, Mish! She has white jeans on, a red sweater with a snowflake, and a white and red hat, like long hat she got from the Dollarama. Oh, oh don't you look so festive. So festive. Well, you got stripes. Yeah. You must have got points for your den. Yeah, but because of the stripes. Malcolm had a striped shirt and he didn't even know it. Oh. And it didn't even have Christmas colors. Well, that's all right. Yeah. Did you have a good day at school? What? Was it a good day at school? Yeah? Uh -huh. Oh, good. Oh, good. Uh -huh. All right, guys. Well, it's almost 6 o'clock. I want to put an ending on this. The kids had some leftover stuff in the fridge, so that's all used up, which is great. Um, tomorrow, like I said, is going to be a busy day. <sighs> Getting the cozy wrapping presents. Oh, I defrosted a package of boneless, skinless chicken thighs. Mally's going to fry that up to me tonight for like for tonight for tomorrow supper. Going to have chicken quesadillas, dillas. Damn it, Napoleon. But anyways, that's what we're going to have. So I'm going to go into town early tomorrow morning and that'll kick it off. But anyways, thanks for hanging out with me the past couple days. It was, we made through, got his medication. He had two doses today already. He's going to have some at bedtime and he is going to school tomorrow. I had their lunches packed and yeah, we're all good. We're all good. Don't even think about it. Okay, guys, so I'm going to say peace, love, and happiness today and every single day. Please like, share, and subscribe if you so choose. But if not, that's okay, too. I still love you. Here comes Mally. Just a minute. I still want all the happiness in the world for each and every one of you out there. Just a minute. I do. <laughs> I really, really honest and truly do. Yes, I do. So, okay, guys. Violet and Boris are over there waiting for me to come sit down in that chair. So... I'm going to say have a good night or have a good morning. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye. Boink.